Uno, dos, tres. Bienvenida a México. This is such a unique experience. I am loving it right now. Hola, ¿qué tal? Hola, ¿qué tal? Bienvenida. Thank you. I'm checking in, Jessica Savano. Wow, this is beautiful. Incredible. Mucho gracias. De nada, bienvenida. Y aquí está tuya. Ay, gracias. De nada, nos vemos. Hola, buenos días. Hola, so I am in an Uber heading to this amazing castle. I've seen it online, it looks absolutely amazing and I can't wait to check it out and show you guys. Vamos! Well, I'm here at the castle, but it's closed. No. I really wanted to see it. And on Google, it said it was open. But with COVID, you just never know. But this is it. It looks amazing. It's such a beautiful day. Like, what else can I do? So I started Googling around, and I found something called Mexico City's Little Venice where it's like all these like little floating um, boats and um, food. So let's go check out Mexico's Little Venice. I'm so excited. Hola, ¿qué tal? ¿Qué tal? Hi. <laughs> so I have been taking Ubers around Mexico. From my first, the first Uber was only like $2.50 and this one is gonna be like eight or $9. This is actually gonna be a pretty far ride because it's in the south of the city. So this is gonna be about a 40 minute ride. Gracias. Vale, hasta luego. Bonita día. Igual, bonito día. Buenas tardes, bonita. Vamos al museo. 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 I have no idea where this boat is going or what's going to happen, but I love adventure and I love the great unknown. Okay, I think I'm going to get me some lunch. Papas con longaniza, pollo, chicharrón, quesito. Ah, quesadilla con pollo. ¿Pollo con queso? Sí. 
So she is making my quesadilla like on the next boat over. This is such a unique experience. I am loving it right now, even more so that I got a quesadilla. I'm already crashing. <laughs> I tried. Hola. I am just loving this right now, guys. This is just like, honestly, it's making me feel emotional. It's just so beautiful and unique. And I'm just so glad that I did this. It was so unexpected, but so meant to be. can't wait for people to do things, you just sort of gotta do them because if you wait for people, you'll be waiting forever and you'll miss out on amazing things like this. Like, wow. I asked him to stop here because I saw all these like stuffed animals and dolls and I'm very curious about like what's in there. So let's go see. This is like creepy but cool at the same time. <laughs> Amo mi vida. <laughs> what if I just like took took like a tumble and like fell into that? Now that would be a vlog. <laughs> okay guys, this was my guide, Rafael. He was so amazing. Thanks for making my experience. Bonita, mucho gracias, and God bless you. If you guys come to Mexico and you want to do this, come and find Rafael. He's amazing. Gracias. God bless you. Gracias. Hasta luego. <laughs> oh my God, that was such an amazing experience. I did already. Gracias. There's a lot going on over here, as you can see. <laughs> I 
I mean, I don't know where I'm at right now, but this definitely feels like real Mexico. This is so intense, it reminds me of India. It's so loud, there's so much going on, it's so unorganized, it's chaotic, I absolutely love it. It's like everywhere you look, there's something going on and I just love that, it's so stimulating. And there's even more stuff inside here. Look at this. Ah. This is amazing. This market literally just goes on and on. I don't even know how to get out. How do I get out? How do I get out? <laughs> Hola. Oh, wow. So many birds. All right, guys, so I am in an Uber on my way back to my area, which is called La Condesa. I am a bit tired. It was a lot of walking. As fun as it was, it was exhausting. I should have wore... I should have worn more comfortable shoes instead of trying to be cute. <laughs> so just a few things to know if you do come here. Oh my god, this mask looks horrible like this. <laughs> um, it's only 500 pesos for one hour for the boat ride. I read about all kind of scams before I came here. Like they were trying to like stop Ubers and saying you can not get dropped off at Central. So make sure you get dropped off at Centro and it's 500 pesos, not 3,000. I heard that they were charging 3,000 pesos. So yeah, just be aware of that and read about the scams and stuff online. There's lots of information on, um, on TripAdvisor. So check it all out before you come. It's a very unique experience. And go walk around the markets after. It's such a very... Um, all of this has been such a cultural experience and I like where I'm staying but it doesn't feel like real Mexico you know what I mean so yeah live love travel hola guys so I am back in my neck of the woods I am having an iced tea with a chicken roll with uh, avocado and some vegetable fries They're so good I didn't really eat. Um, no, está bien. Everyone comes and tries to sell you stuff here. It's, it's really cute, but I already have no more room in my luggage, so it's like, what am I gonna do with all this stuff? So I only had that quesadilla. I really haven't had lunch, so this is like a late lunch that I'm having. Okay, guys, so we are gonna take an evening stroll through Parque Mexico. It's a beautiful park. I got to explore it a little bit yesterday when I got in, so 
Let's go see what's going on. So right here is a dog park. Chacun regagne.